Oh my gosh. That, that is just cool. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to the John Q channel. I'm excited for this video today. This is the Diamondback chambered in 556 and I gotta say, like, oh, <laughs> this is a, look at that. This is a fun rifle to shoot. I, I mean, as you just saw those first shots, this rifle is easy. This rifle is light. This rifle is fun. <laughs> Quick disclaimer guys, Diamondback did send me this rifle to review on the channel to shoot and to post about it. Uh, and just so you guys know, the sight, the light, the foregrip, plus the magazine uh, entirely is all mine and not stock from Diamondback. So you'll get the sights, the iron sights, and not everything else that you see on here. Like you saw in those first shots at uh, the start of this video, I this is such a fun rifle to shoot. And personally, like me, I love guns that are aesthetically pleasing to me, right? And if it doesn't look cool, I tend not to shoot it. Maybe that's a bad thing, but I don't care, that's me. And when I saw this gun stock without all this other stuff, I was like, that gun looks really dope, real rad. I need to shoot that thing. So one of the things that I do like so far about this rifle, hold on, can we focus, there we go, is the, the actual handrail. Most rifles that I do shoot have a, a lighter, skinnier, more narrow handrail, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But when, you know, when I'm, as I'm shooting this, I'm thinking, man, this really fills my support hand. It fills it up and I like it. I can actually support myself on this gun with the handrail itself. I like how just beefy it is, but also being light. I think it weighs in about seven pounds and the trigger press is about three, three and a half pounds or so which super light for a rifle. I mean, the way it shoots, incredible. I also love that there's a flat trigger on there. Every time I come out to the range, I find myself going for the rifles that got that flat trigger, which I'm liking, you know, it's not a preference. I just, I'm liking the flat triggers a little bit more than those curved triggers. It comes uh, stock with Picatinny on the, uh, on top of the rifle here. And it, it's the M lock on the, on the rails here. It does come stock with the iron sights for Magpul. It's got a Magpul stock which is nice, uh, Magpul uh, handle, and yeah, it's just like a Magpul Diamondback uh, collaboration, and it's, man, it's been shooting so fun. Oh my gosh, that, that is just, <laughs> Oh my God, it's just crazy fun to shoot. This thing, let's talk about recoil very quick. There's practically no recoil to the DB15. <laughs> That's crazy to say, but as you keep seeing me shoot, there's practically, I mean, the gun is level. The gun is, literally sits here, here. It's not coming here, it's not coming back, it sits here. I, I mean, you can't beat that. Aside from it being seven pounds, the add weight that I have from the foregrip, uh, the flashlight, the hollow sun, and the mag, uh, maybe adds like what, another pound and a half, two pounds. So a total of, let's say a total of nine and a half pounds on this rifle as it sits, you know, with a full mag. That is not that heavy. And if you're hauling around a rifle like this at the range, or you're going out to train, I mean, it's not gonna get heavy on you. You're not gonna get fatigued. So I'm all about it definitely comes in with the looks, but let's talk about functionality. Is it functional? I mean, 100%. You know, I do like that there's kind of just a little bit of a mag flare, uh, flared mag well there, which I like. That way I can get my mag, I can make sure it's feeded inside the rifle and I'm not gonna miss, right? So I like that. Stock, the stock is beefy. Butt stock is beefy. The butt is beefy. <laughs> the butt stock, the butt is beefy. As it sits on my cheek, it's as it sits on here, I mean, it's it's not that bad. I'm out, I'm out. Hold on, let's do this one. Oh, it's so good. But no, as it sits my cheek on the on the buttstock, yeah, I mean, it's, it's comfortable. It's not not comfortable, right? And it does sit fairly well on my shoulder where I can drive it back and get that stance I need and get that recoil management to mitigate recoil. So I'm a big fan of pretty much anything Magpul makes. All right, let's quickly talk about the safety. 
I don't even have to face the rifle down to get in that position of fire and safe, and I can easily manipulate that with my thumb. Which, by the way, that's a huge plus for me. Why? Because of this. If I'm done shooting here, like for, ex for example, let's say I just shot and have to flip right away to safe. When I engage that safety switch from, from uh, fire to safe, it's an easy, instantaneous, smooth uh, transition. And I don't have to, like I don't have to work for it where I have to bring my rifle down and kind of get a better grip and flip that safety. So if I have to manipulate from fire to safety, I can easily do that. And the fact that Diamondback makes that possible easily with that safety switch, I give that a 10 out of 10. I love that. Another thing that you might find and might like on the DB15 is a skeletonized uh, trigger guard on the rifle. As you can see, it's not just like a basic cutoff. It's kind of like it comes down to a point and back up to the handle, which it's small details like that, right? But I think that makes it worth it because when my hand is up on that rifle, I have this little divot, this little curve for my fingers to relax and to set in. That way I can further mitigate that recoil, <laughs> which by the way, like I said before, practically no recoil. <laughs> it's so good. As the rifle sits, just stock, you're gonna be looking at about 1680, right? Or 1700 bucks. And my thoughts are this, if you are in, in this world of firearms, tactical firearms and rifles, and you like to shoot and you like to go to the range and learn and train, yeah, this is a rifle that you might wanna pick up. So here's the thing. I will say that for your first rifle, sure, you could pick it up, it'll shoot nice, you'll learn pretty well. Uh, but if you were like down the road and you want to get, you know, your second rifle, your third rifle, this might be a really good option for you. To me, this rifle is more of the, hey, I'm kind of out of my training phase rifle, if that makes sense. And I want to get serious about shooting. I want to get serious about training and I want to get serious about what I use at the range. It has the makings of, of being a quality top tier rifle that you can put a Neotech on there, you can put a cloud defensive light on there, you could put an emissary, emissary development foregrip on there and make it that your go-to, if you want a truck gun, this could be it. Like that's how I'm thinking in terms of being your second or third rifle and you're out of that training phase, you're out of like the, you know, I, you're riding a bike and I got my training wheels off. And that's what I'm talking about, but you to you. You do. If you want to get it for your first rifle, by all means, it's going to be great. You're going to you're going to see some great improvement. You're going to see some great training because it's so light and it's easy maneuverable, which is great. <laughs> I just you. <laughs> every time I go to shoot this gun, I can't help but just rapid fire because it's that great and that 3.5 pound trigger and that trigger being flat. I mean, that to me is money. Just money. Gosh, it's just it's just money, dude. I love it. Gosh, I, I literally cannot, I'm telling you right now, I would buy this rifle. This rifle, <laughs> it's such a good rifle. Remember when I talked about aesthetically pleasing rifles? Look, look at the detail on here. Look at the detail and then look at where it ends with the, uh, with the guard and the rail. That, aesthetically pleasing. I went with the, uh, the tan or kind of like the FDE look just because I love the FDE uh, and black two-tone. Uh, color the colorway and I think to me that just is super aesthetically pleasing so yeah go with whatever you want but FDE is king <laughs> my initial thoughts honestly great solid rifle for anybody who's wanting to get a better rifle than they already have for me I love that it's accurate it has very low recoil which is important to me and it's got some cool features on it that I love. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think this is a viable option for you? Why are we not? Comment down below. And if you are thinking about getting one, let me know why. And I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace. All right. All right, here we go. Time to end the video with some shooting. <laughs> I love it. It's just such a great rifle. I love it. <laughs>